I'm Kevin Cameron, and I'm here to tell you more about failure. You might wonder why I dwell on failed parts so much. Mr. Soichiro Honda said famously, and no doubt many times, that there's more to be learned from failure than from success. Here's an ignition side flywheel, and you'll see that there's a taper, and there's a keyway, so that the ignition rotor, which is just a magnet, fits onto the taper. There would normally be a bearing in the seal here. As this rotates during the operation of the machine, possibly at 10,000 RPM, this whole affair can move around a bit. And there can even be some slight back and forth movement. That's why you see these reddish bands of discoloration on the taper. That is iron oxide that results from minute oscillatory frictional mo movement, which is called frettage. When you see that red powder in a joint, it means that some slight motion is taking place. This rotor is heavy. All this action is going on. It results in stress. Stress can initiate cracking by being amplified by the presence of a defect in the metal or by a sharp edge, which can act as a crack nucleation site. Here is a failed ignition rotor, and we notice that the key slot is part of the failure. This kind of thing has happened to all the manufacturers at various times. It happened to Kawasaki. This flywheel is from an H2R, and it had the same size taper as this one. It was an industry standard. However, it wasn't up to the work once people went racing. When Kawasaki took their H1RW, W standing for water-cooled, Grand Prix racing in 1975, they had some ignition rotors break off in just this fashion. The rotor is substantial. The taper is not. Therefore, necessary countermeasure part, bigger taper. This kind of thing goes on in engineering constantly. Naturally, for reasons of uh, common sense, we want to keep successful parts in production for a long time. That's why each new model has as few new parts in it as can be managed, because it makes sense to continue producing successful parts. But when there is a problem, there has to be a countermeasure. And in this case, it's simple. Make the parts stronger. Goes on all the time.